it's Monday close to six o'clock, so I'm gonna call <coughs> this April 17, 2018 meeting of the Andalusia City Council to order. And I'll ask you to stand and join Councilman Wells as he leads us in the prayer and pledge of allegiance. Let's pray. Lord, as we gather today at this meeting, we, we ask that you'll be in our midst. Yes. Help us to make decisions that will be pleasing to you. And Lord, let this meeting be productive. And as should be the case in all our areas of life, help us to keep you at the forefront of our minds as we do the work set before us. We ask this in thy name. Amen. 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 Attention, salute, play. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> well, welcome everyone to our second meeting in April and uh, remind everyone that we meet on the first and third Tuesdays of each month. Workshop starting at five o'clock upstairs in the, in the uh, meeting room and then the uh, regular session starting here in the council chambers at six o'clock and we always uh, welcome guests and those who may want to come watch their city government uh, in, in action. Okay, members of council, uh, the first item of business to consider is approval of your minutes of, of the minutes of the April 3rd, 2018 meeting. Mr. Mayor, I motion that we approve the minutes of our April 3rd, 2018 meeting. All right, we have a motion by Mr. Sconyers to approve the minutes. Do we have a second? I second the motion. Second by Mr. Mount. Any further discussion, questions, or comments? All in favor of approval of the minutes, please indicate by raising your right hand. And that is unanimous, and I thank you for that. All right, we have no unfinished business. Under new business, uh, we have ordinance number 2018-04, which is the back to school sales tax holiday, <clears throat> which is scheduled for July the 20th through the 22nd uh, of this year. This is an annual event uh, that takes place across the state uh, in which the state uh, lifts its the state sales tax uh, for this period of time. Uh, the counties, most of the counties, I suppose, lift their sales tax for this period of time. And we, the city and cities all across the state, uh, join in with that so that uh, for that period of that weekend, uh, our citizens can buy back to school supplies, clothes, and things that are associated with kids going back to school. There's all manner of, of items that can be purchased. And uh, some things you can't get the sales tax off of, but a large, there's a large volume of it. There's a list of it. It's always published that you can get a copy of by going on the state uh, site uh, and, and look at it, what qualifies. But in any event, uh, I recommend, this is something that we, the city, has done for years and years. Uh, I recommend that we uh, adopt this ordinance which would uh, lift our sales tax for this <coughs> period of time. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion that we adopt the, uh, the uh, ordinance 2018-04, back to school sales holiday tax. Okay, we have a motion by Mr. Wells, we have a second. I second. Second by Mr. Sconyers. Any further discussion, questions, or comments concerning this ordinance? All in favor of approving the ordinance, please indicate by raising your right hand. <coughs> and that is approved. And by the way, that was th tonight was the second reading. We had the first reading of this at the first meeting uh, of the month. Uh, we have to have two readings of an ordinance that we adopt unless we suspend the rules. But we didn't suspend the rules on this. We had the first reading last month. Item uh, 5B is a request from the Covenant County Volunteer Organization that's active in disasters. This is a group, a local group, that's working to get organized to provide shelters in, in the Andalusia Covenant County area in case of, uh, of natural disasters like hurricanes and tornadoes and floods and all kinds of uh, any other bad uh, events that would cause people to have to evacuate and leave their homes. And those that come through our area who would be safe here, uh, we want to be able to provide them with a place where they can uh, uh, be fed and be housed and uh, 
taken care of until it's safe for them to go back to their homes. <coughs> this group is organizing, this is a group of local organizations, uh, and the city is involved with it, uh, that's working to try to put this together. And the group has asked that the city purchase a trailer in which some co cots can be stored and uh, pulled out. The trailer could be pulled to place to place depending on where they were needed. Uh, and <coughs> then when they're finished with it, they would be put back in the trailer and then carried and stored. Uh, and the trailer could be put in somewhere outside of the weather and, and only pulled out when need be. The, cost of that trailer is $2,895. Uh, if you uh, elect to do so, that money would be, need to be taken from our contingency fund since it was not in our budget. Uh, so I put it to you, uh, $2,895 out of contingency for to purchase the trailer for this group that's going to be organizing uh, uh, <coughs> areas for people to be uh, give, given some housing uh, during disasters. Mr. Mayor, I motion that we uh, approve the request from the Covington County Volunteer Organization Active in Disaster Group uh, in the amount that they are uh, asking for, $2,895. Uh, as you say, this fund will have to come from contingency. All right. Heard the motion by Mr. Sconyers. Do we have a second? I have a second. Second by Mr. Wells. Is there any further discussion, questions, or comments about this matter? All in favor then, please indicate by raising your right hand. And that is... Unanimous, and thank you for that. Item C, 5C, is a first reading of Ordinance 2018-05, which is an ordinance of the City of Andalusia to exempt, excuse me, I'm reading the wrong thing, uh, an ordinance amending the compensation of elected officials in, in, of the City of Andalusia. <laughs> this would be a 5% uh, increase in the pay of elected officials plus an increase in their uh, monthly pay for being basic or advanced certified municipal officials. Uh, the last time that the uh, elected officials pay and, and compensation was adjusted in this city was in 2008. This ordinance, if, if enacted, uh, will not take effect until the next administration takes office, which would be in, in the year 2020. So if you choose to enact this at the second or third <coughs> reading, whenever we take it up later, uh, if, you, if you pass it, it won't take effect during our, during this four year quadrennium. It'll, it, will take, it will take effect at the election of the next mayor and council, which will be in 2020, and they take office in either October or November of 2020. So uh, this will serve tonight as the first reading of that ordinance and uh, we will take it up at, a, at another uh, time as we talked about earlier. Ordinances have to have at least two readings unless we suspend the rules. We're not going to suspend the rules on this. So if the citizens want to have some comment back and forth with us, they give an opportunity to do that. Okay. Next item is uh, uh, Resolution 2018-15, which is uh, a matter that we need to address uh, for our Adult Activity Center. It's a Title VI program uh, that's required by uh, the federal government. It has to do with Title VI Civil Rights Act of 1964 and uh, Civil Rights Restoration Act of 1987 in which basically we agree uh, as the city to abide by the rules, laws, and regulations that are associated with those two acts so that we can continue to receive funding from time to time to purchase facilities, vehicles, equipment, and so forth, and get funding for that through the, through the federal government. So uh, every now and then they ask us to, uh, to uh, recertify that we are in compliance with those and we'll continue to be in compliance with those two civil rights acts and I recommend to you that we adopt the resolution uh, on the title six plan. Mayor, I make a motion that we approve resolution 2018-15 adopting title six plan. 
All right, we have a motion by Mr. Mount. Do we have a second? I second that. We have a second by Ms. Griffin. Is there any further discussion, questions, or comments concerning this resolution? All in favor of the, adopting the resolution, please indicate by raising your right hand. Any opposed? Same sign. Thank you for that. Uh, the Andalusia uh, City School Board is in, uh, is, has already begun the process of uh, uh, the, uh, work on the auditorium at the high school and the, uh, and the football stadium, restoring and, and reworking and modernizing uh, and, and uh, turning in both of those facilities into really high quality uh, facilities. One of the things that's going to be included in that is a artificial turf in the football stadium. The artificial turf was not included in the bid uh, request in the contract. In other words, the contractor that's out there, his contract does not include putting in the turf. That is something that we uh, kept out because we wanted to be able to try to negotiate something uh, if we could with Shaw Industries. And uh, as it, we didn't know at the time, but as it turns out now, there is a, a federal a list of, across the nation of providers of, of artificial turf. And that uh, list has been approved by the state of Alabama that allows you, as long as you uh, do business at the listed price uh, with providers that are on that list, you don't have to bid it. And so we are, that is what we are going to do. And we have worked out at Shaw Industries, our biggest manufacturing presence here in Andalusia and Covington County. Of course, uh, Shaw Industries uh, makes artif this artificial turf. We sat down with them and worked out a deal that we will be receiving. Uh, their second, they, there's several grades of this turf. And their next to top grade is a, is a grade that's a very excellent uh, product. In fact, it was just, just installed at the, in Vanderbilt University's football stadium in Nashville. Uh, this, will be, this equipment or this material will be installed at, in the Andalusia Stadium. And in the process of all of this, we will save approximately $200,000 in the cost of what the cost was estimated to be and the amount of money that was included in the budget by the school board to put this turf in. And the reason that the city has to, to be the contractor on this or, or contract to get this done is because the school board cannot do it under the, under the law. So what we're gonna do is this, we will take that upon ourselves, the school, uh, the city will uh, contract, have it installed with a contractor, and the money to pay for that will be taken out of the budget and paid to the city to pay for all of that. So that's a, a long way around to do an explanation, but it's about as thorough as I know how to make one without spending a, a whole lot of time on it. So I recommend to you that we move forward with this plan. Again, it will save almost $200,000 on this project, just this one contract. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion that we accept the bid and the purchase price of the stadium playing surface and, and approve the motion. All right. Do we have a motion? Do we have a second? I second the motion. All right. We have a second by Mr. Mount. Any further discussion, questions, or comments? All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. And that is unanimous, and I thank you for that. And by the way, that work is... Uh, is uh, underway, and it's uh, really something to see if you hadn't had a chance to drive by there and take a look at it. And this turf work is going to start the 1st of May, as I understand it, the process of getting the field ready to do that 2nd of May. Okay. All right. Uh, our next item is the Al Alabama Junior Rodeo Association Finals have, are going to take place in Andalusia at the Covington Arena on May the 31st through June the 2nd. And they have been here before, brought good crowds uh, to our city. And uh, 
Uh, they have asked us for a contribution in helping them uh, put on this program. Uh, there has to be a public purpose uh, for uh, us to contribute to something like this, and, and I think we can find that there's several pub public services here, but one of the one of them will be safety training for youngsters associated with uh, with livestock and dealing with horses and cows and such, and uh, and other training courses, other training uh, value to the to this program, and certainly fifteen hundred dollars is a reasonable amount. They're asking for similar amounts from the county and other other folks, and I think they've had some success. So I recommend to you that we would approve that. That money would have to come from our contingency fund since it was not put in our budget. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion that we accept and <coughs> contribute $1,500 to the Alabama Junior Rodeo Association finals to be held in May and June. Okay, have a motion by Mr. Wells. Do we have a second? I second that. We have a second by Ms. Griffin. Is there any further discussion, questions, or comments concerning this? All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. And that is it. Is there anything else from the council to come before uh, we uh, will announce that, that there, everybody to remember that uh, there's going to be uh, uh, some entertainment here this weekend. Uh, and uh, all of a sudden I forgot his name. What, what's Ricky, 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 Ricky Skaggs, Skaggs is going to be here. <laughs> Uh, performing out at the Covington Arena, and the funding is being sponsored by the LBW Foundation, and that, of course, the purpose of that is to raise money for the foundation. And of course, the foundation offers scholarships to area students to attend LBW, so it's a very worthy cause. Be some great entertainment. I think it's Saturday night. Uh, there's still uh, tickets available. Uh, I would suggest uh, getting on the internet and going to the LBW site, and they certainly would have information about where to get those tickets. And uh, if you don't have any luck at that, give us a call here at City Hall, we'll run it down for you. We also got uh, listen out for uh, a clean up Covington County Day, a uh, uh, PALS uh, organization that puts together every year, and Lord knows we need to be cleaned up. Uh, we got uh, some of the worst uh, litter I've seen in Covington County in a long, long time. Uh, I will let folks know that we, we have two crews in Andalusia that pick up litter every day. And guess what? They have a full day every day because we, as soon as we get picked up, somebody throws some more down. So I would encourage people not to throw litter out, and, uh, but to uh, get, on the, uh, get on the, again, get on the internet and look up Andalusia Area Chamber of Commerce and all the information about the Clean Up Covenant County Day will be uh, on there and give you information about how you can participate in helping clean up your community. So uh, please uh, do that if you're able to. Anything else to come before the council tonight? All right, hearing nothing, we will stand adjourned. <laughs>